kid. When I wake up wet. Cause I smell really bad. Stinking with sweat. So I do what I should. Put on deodorant so I smell good. So I put on Robert, how are you doing, my man? Thank you so much. I hope you had a fantastic weekend, my man. Uh, yeah, tough. Says, play something African in the intro, man. Share your heritage. I try to, I try to, but the way things are uh, working out these days, I just pick on whatever is on my playlist, <laughs> and then we see how it going, <clears throat> how it goes. Thank you so much, tough, for tuning in. Thank you so much, Robert. It looks like uh, everybody else is still having Monday-itis, which basically is, um, you know, when, when people don't, haven't recovered yet from their weekend. And uh, Alan Hogan, thank you so much for tuning in. I see you're tuning in for the second time. The last time was a very long time ago, and I see Robert is taking good care of you. That's fantastic to hear, guys. All right, so obviously just uh, taking out the normalities out of the way. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, and I'm really hoping you've had a fantastic weekend. Um, you know, if you have, just type in the number one in the comments there. That would just let me know who's had a fantastic weekend so that I would know what sort of content they would enjoy uh, about what I'm talking about. So obviously a lot has been happening on the marketing front. A lot has been happening uh, on the business front. A lot has been happening, um, you know, with our lives and all that stuff. And I've been reading quite a, a lot um, basically about life and, um, you know, how to read really, really um, win at this game. So you're going to be noticing a lot of themes um, that are coming up and um, I will be letting you know what each and every one of them means. But the most common one that is coming up is the one of deodorant. So you got to make sure that, um, you know, everywhere you are, you know, you have um, you know, utilize some sort of deodorant. It's getting warmer here and uh, you don't want to be a menace to society. So uh, that out of the way, I just really want you to know that I actually believe that every person that's uh, running a business online should have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And by that, I mean that you should be able to make um, you know, enough money for you to be, do, and have whatever it is that you really wish to do and also enjoy doing it because what you're doing is you're contributing to the greater humanity and that's what I really want to help you achieve to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that while you're doing that um, as a business person, you should be able to also create for and relate to those people that you are, uh, you know, receiving money off of, you know, because um, those people are going to be affording you the lifestyles, um, you know, that you're going to be leading in the future. So that's the reason why we sit around here for 30 minutes every single day, where we teach you this four step system that has not only helped our business, but also helped our clients. Uh, most of them being coaches, some of them consultants out there and s other service providers to brand their businesses, to actually market their businesses so that they can now start enjoying um, working in those businesses and also, um, you know, yielding a profit. I also help small businesses like yourself to essentially, um, you know, earn more money with less struggle using digital marketing strategies. All right. So basically what I do is help you curate and create an online footprint that is going to optimize your business for um, growth and also profit. So if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome aboard. Um, just let us know where you're tuning in from. That also helps us to know, um, you know, how far the message is actually being distributed. All right. So without further ado, I just really, really want to 
congratulate you first of all for having stayed through the course it's almost the end of the year uh 2017 there's been a lot of ups and downs in the year there's been quite a lot going on and um i really am excited that you've held on you stood the taste of time and today i really want to bring about a concept that will actually help you or a strategy that would actually help you finish this year strong all right the the biggest reason why a lot of people fail in business or in life is boiled down to two emotions all right and these two emotions are love and fear that's all there is you either love what you do so much or you love the people that you're around with or you are afraid of certain things and that's what will move you forward once you understand those two concepts everything else um you know just seems normal to you everything else just seems um doable because um i will read it i read it i wrote it here somewhere where it says the realization that love and fear are the two sponsoring thoughts that control the human soul you either love something so much that you will pursue it with your whole with your um, you know everything that you've got or you either fear it so much that you don't even want to hear about it all right so if you really really look at it everything that you have done has been a result of you having loved doing that thing everything that you have not done has been a result of you fearing that particular um you know subject or fearing that particular um uh thing so as we come to the end of the year 2017 you might be you know congratulating yourself or you might be kicking yourself in the foot and not quite knowing what it is that you know has made you realize your goals i want you to first of all figure out how many of the things that you're actually doing right now do you absolutely love you know once you write a note of all the things that you absolutely love maybe it's your clients maybe you love your work maybe you love your website maybe you love your email list maybe you love your suppliers whatever it is that you love have you noticed you've been putting energy towards that and the things that you fear maybe you fear invoicing maybe you fear sales maybe you fear um closing maybe you fear um uh may, you know maybe you fear your competition maybe you just fear um you know the government maybe you fear tax maybe you fear money itself all of that has probably been inhibiting you from actually realizing your goals so if you sit down and really look at all those things and weigh it is it something that you love or is it something that you are afraid of then you would notice that those are the things that are probably moving you towards your goals or inhibiting you from reaching your ultimate best Do you know what I mean? So, you know, we are coming up to the end of 2017. Sometimes we all just put it all together. Maybe um it's your fear of going to the gym, it's maybe your fear of being ridiculed, maybe it's your fear of, you know, of change that is stopping you from for, for pursuing a health habit. But what if you actually start loving the gym you go to? What if you actually start loving the people that are at the gym? What if you start loving the route you take to go to the gym? Won't that make you want to go to the gym more? So now can you imagine how many other things are you actually loving and fearing at the same time and not realizing that is actually stopping you from getting to your goals? Now Alan says I fear that I can't succeed, but I'm also trying my hardest to succeed. Okay. What have you tried everything or have you done everything possible to actually make you realize that you can actually succeed? Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. We have what is called a limbic brain or the lizard brain. What the lizard brain does is it only wants you to be safe. It only wants you to procreate and it only wants you to to be around people that will enhance your safety and procreation. All this money, phones, businesses, websites, all of these things are what is being processed by our frontal cortex of the brain. That is where so if if we don't love it enough, fear takes over. When there's no love, there's a lot of fear. 
All right. So look at all the things that you're doing within your life. Look at all the things that you're doing around yourself. The people that are around you. Do you love them or are they around you because you're afraid of losing them? You really should gauge all the relationships, the clients that you have. Do you have them because you absolutely love working with them? Or are you afraid because, um, you know, they might uh, go away and you don't have your, 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 your income? And honestly, thank you so much for all the people that you've been recommending me. Some of them have been really, really good and forthcoming. Thank you so much. Now, honestly says, fear is face everything and rise or false evidence appearing real. Absolutely. So, you know, as we come to the end of 2017, first of all, this is a public service announcement. Do not forget to use deodorant. And second of all, as we are coming up to the end of 2017, I know that you might have had amazing goals that have been planned all throughout this year. And you might have had, um, you know, a, a lot of experiences that you wanted to experience and things that you had maybe part of your bucket list or something like that. And it's not too late. Although it's about 34 days left to Christmas right now, you still have a lot of time as long as you can distinguish whether what you're actually feeling is love or it's fear. And once you know the difference that are you doing it because you absolutely love your job or are you doing it because you are afraid of, you know, not having um, or you are afraid of not having, you know, not, not, not having money at the end of the day. Are you afraid of not being able to supply for your kids? Are you afraid of losing the spouse that you have or are you, do you just love them or are you afraid of the loss that comes if you don't have them? All right. So, you know, once you are able to distinguish between love and fear, you will notice that a lot of things will start making sense in your life. So whatever challenges you might have faced this year or whatever breakthroughs that you might have enjoyed, I just want to remind you that the end can actually be better than the beginning. All right. We still have a lot of time. And one of the most transformational mindsets that I've been able to make in my life, especially in 2017, besides discovering deodorant, is that the strategy that you use right now, the strategy that you use right now, and the one that I use right now, is totally different. And you can shift that perspective and your circumstances completely if you choose love over fear. I'm going to say that again. You have to choose love over fear. Don't do anything just because you're afraid of the outcome. Because once you do that, what happens when the outcome comes out and you don't have to be afraid of it anymore? What if you start making money? If you're doing your job just because you're afraid you couldn't be able to supply for your family, what if you start making the money? What would then happen? You should do things just because you are actually viscerally invested in those things and you absolutely love doing what you're doing. So everything that you do should be, you know, moved by love over fear. And this powerful strategy will make you finish the year pretty strong. And I think it was, uh, I think it was Mary Ferguson. Mary Ferguson. She mentioned something that is really profound. She says that ultimately we know deeply that on the other side of fear, there is freedom. On the other side of fear, there is freedom. Do you know what I mean? So you, you might, it, it might seem very, very simple, but it's one of the most powerful strategies that I have seen. And I have seen people, you know, that are really getting results utilizing because once you put the distinction between love and fear do you know what i mean once you actually know that you're doing things not because you're afraid of the circumstances but you absolutely love doing it the whole perception of the things will change reaching out for clients you're doing it because you absolutely love saving or helping them instead of you being afraid of being broke is that, is that sort of making sense? Robert says, just a guess about the deodorant, um, but it's, it's good advice at the same time. <laughs> you know? So there, there, there are opportunities that are still available for us throughout the year. Like I said, there's still 34 days left. All right? And every one of those days, 
um, you know, all you got to do is now really determine, am I absolutely loving this or am I just afraid of what might happen? You know what I mean? That business brand you desire to create, do you, are you creating it because you're afraid of the competition or do you viscerally want that to exist in the world? Do you viscerally want that brand to help your customers because your message is too good to, to not be spread around? So you can launch it successfully because if you're afraid of the competition, what happens when the competition stops working? Does that mean you also stop working? So you want to be honest with yourself. Perhaps you've been, you know, you know, you know, animated by a lot of fear. Do you know what I mean? Instead of love. Because if it is, if you're doing what you're doing because you are afraid of what not doing it will cause you, what happens if you actually achieve it? You know, so if you really realize fear based living is actually sabotaging your dreams because you're doing things, not because you absolutely love doing them, but you are afraid of the circumstances that will happen if you don't do those things. Does it come to mind what it is that you are you are doing right now? Do you literally wake up in the morning just because you love putting deodorant on or are you afraid you might smell in public? Do you do it because you just absolutely love feeling fresh and feeling good or are you afraid you might smell? What happens when you don't smell anymore? Are you going to stop using whatever that product is or are you going to stop doing that particular thing just because it doesn't have that perceived fear result that you have? So if I can, if you can allow me to explain it to you, fear based living is literally choosing to believe that, you know, there's probably lack in your life and that there's never enough. Do you know what I mean? Because people are afraid there's not enough money to go by. People are afraid there's not enough clients that would want to hear about them. And they're afraid there's never enough. That's the reason why they do what they do. And it's coming from a place of fear, not from a place of love. Because my question to you now is what would happen when you now actually get that thing that you want? Will you stop, you know, will you stop wanting to achieve just because you've accomplished your results? So fear thinking, or you know, you know, fear is, is, is actually, you know, thinking that you might not be able to finish what you, that which you have started and you might disappoint everyone. And that's the reason why a lot of people won't start their businesses, which is why a lot of people won't take action because of fear. You know, fear is, is probably, you know, choosing to postpone your dreams and wait until it is the right moment. We all know there's never going to be a right moment. Just because you are afraid that if you invest in something right now, you won't have probably enough time, the money, the effort or the resources to do anything or, 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 or that thing which you desire. So people will then stop doing things based on the fear they have of the outcome, not because of the love they have of what it is they want to put out there. So basically fear is really choosing to play small which a lot of us have been doing throughout the whole year because somewhere deep inside, you believe that it's not going to work for you. Somewhere deep inside, you believe that your desires will not bear the fruit just because you believe you are inadequate. Or maybe you think you have tried everything else and nothing has worked in the past. You haven't tried everything else. If somebody says, oh, I've tried that, I've tried that, that is just a sign of laziness and they are just afraid to indulge. So it's, it's their fear for them to just play safe and to hold on to the security of where they are now because at least they are not drowning, no matter how unfulfilling it might be for them. Now, Anthony says there's no better time than now to get started. Imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. Start today. It's a work in progress anyway. Absolutely. But a lot of people are so afraid. And Nikhil Kale, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. You know what I mean? So you want to ask yourself, am I doing this out of fear or am I doing this out of love? Because what if the thing you are afraid of is not there anymore to make you afraid? Will you stop? Do you know what I mean? I used to be in that place. I used to be afraid of not having clients. 
But right now I'm happy not even having anyone in my books. Well, that's never going to happen in a long time because I've put systems in place. Do you know what I mean? It literally scared me and it kept me up at night that I didn't have clients. But right now I can't wait to get rid of some clients because they don't fall through my perfect client category. I've got a guy that I work with, tough. You know, he's always, he's always surprised when, when somebody comes through, he thinks it's a good deal, but I'm just like, nah, don't worry about it. We don't need them. Do you know what I mean? Only because I used to be afraid of losing clients, but now I want to work with the people I absolutely love working with. That way I can get them all the results they actually need. You know? You know, I used to stay up late, literally late at night. But these days, it doesn't even bother me. I can talk about deodorant and it still makes sense to people, you know? Because I'm talking about what I love. It's no longer about fear. It's no longer about anything. It's not, you know, it's, it's, it's the fact that I've done what's needed to be done, you know? It's no longer coming from a place of, I'm afraid if I say this, I might lose my audience. You know? I finally realized that being addicted to fear only kept me staying up in my dreams. Because then you don't go out and actually reach out for the things that you absolutely love. Because fear is an addiction. And that's the reason why a lot of people are happy to play the victim. Because there's more other people that are going to compensate them. You know what I mean? And say, oh, that's, that's all right. And honestly says, and when you talk about whatever you talk about, you talk with passion. Absolutely. You know? So here, I'm saying to you, my friend, the last, 30, um, the last 38 days in this year, choose love instead. Stop acting from a place of fear. Choose love instead. So you're going to ask me, Prosper, how am I going to transform that? Just, just use deodorant. You stop smelling. That's all, all there is. You just choose love. You know, just choose to love whatever you do. Just choose to love yourself. Just choose to, to work with clients you love. Just choose to work in a place you love. Just choose to, to move in a way you love. It's that simple. But I know it's not easy. You know? You really, really, really have to become conscious and intentional about it. Yes, and Nikhil says fear is an illusion, only love is real. You're absolutely right. I even keep a post above my, my, my laptop here. It says choose love instead. You know? And it's a daily reminder. You should have one too. Write one, stick it on your, on your computer, and send me a picture of it. You know, when love is believing that on the other side of fear, there is everything that you desire. You know? Love is choosing to actually believe that all your actions will bear fruit no matter what has happened in the past. And Robert says, fear is just a wrapper of more energy to use to move forward. Absolutely. Alan says, just followed you on Instagram. Thank you so much. I will go back into it and follow you too. Love is choosing to believe that in the end, always, is going to be better than the beginning. Love is choosing to go for your dreams from no matter what place you are right now. Because if you can visualize it, if you can visualize who you're meant to be, you will become it. Don't just fall into doing something just because it's convenient or just because it's easy. And love is really taking chances despite whatever fear you might be feeling. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Because you are not a victim. You are a superstar. You know? And when you love yourself enough, you would never let yourself eat crap. If you love yourself enough, you would never let yourself watch crap. If you love yourself enough, you'd never let yourself consume crap, would you? Do you know what I mean? So love is choosing to believe that there's always, always, always something you can do to turn things around. Right now, put yourself on a 30-day challenge up until the end of the year. 
and choose to just love everything around you. And if you don't feel love for it, get rid of it. Like seriously, even if it's you, somebody you've been with for a long time, if you don't feel love for that person and you're just afraid and you're holding on to them, just get rid of them. And you'll notice that things will start because the universe hates a void. Have you ever seen an empty space in universe? Like the universe always tries to fill it up with something. So if you take away something you don't love, the universe will replace it with something that you absolutely love. And then you will start noticing you can now defy the impossible. You start having courage and you can stand in the light of what is all possible for you. You know? Superstars or, 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 you know, professionals or, you know, Olympians, they don't sit on the sidelines and just watch life happen to them. We all know that Olympians are, are practicing four years in advance. So why are you not practicing behind the scenes and doing what you absolutely love because you're going to be in it for the long haul? Because when you're just doing things out of fear, you're just reacting to what other people have imposed upon you. Bro, you are an empowered woman. You are an empowered person who is capable of fulfilling their dreams, their hopes, and their aspirations. Don't just settle, bro. I want you to make this year end better than the beginning. Because if you did something better, we would have heard about it already. You know? I really want you to see that the end of the year should be a whole lot better than when you began it. You know why? Because then you're prepping for 2018. And this is why I'm inviting you to make a shift, you know, this year personally and professionally and in all your relationships to get out of fear and claim your breakthrough by choosing love. Can you all type, I'm going to choose love. Can you just type, choose love in the comments there. Type, choose love. Because that's what you're going to promise yourself. You're going to choose love over fear. Because all this that you've been doing has been being afraid of showing who you really are. My desire for you, my desire really this year is to help as many women, as many um, men to fulfill their, you know, their desire to create a brand, a business and a life that is really, really styled for freedom. You've got a lot of greatness inside of you. Just stop being afraid of who you are. Are you afraid of you? Because there's a lot of opportunities that, you know, can change your life that are presented to you every single day. But you don't see them because you choose to be afraid. What if you just choose to love everything that is happening in your life? You choose to welcome the new clients that are coming in your, um, in your business. You choose to welcome all the business that is coming. Not because you, 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 you are afraid if you don't get that business, your lights won't, won't be lit. Just choose to love instead of choose to do what you're doing because of fear. You know, I had a... I had a client who wrote to me recently and they say that, you know, they've had the biggest month of their entire, you know, career last month. You know what has happened? I was just filled with joy because I know her journey when she started, you know. And so, you know, that, that type of a quantum leap is also available to you, you know. Because if you're doing things out of fear, if you're doing things because you have to pay a bill, if you're doing things just because you, 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 you are afraid other people will be angry, that is fear. You don't actually love that. Do you know what I mean? So this journey isn't, isn't about the money you make. It's about who you become in the process. Can you imagine if you're just filled with love everywhere you go, your clients are climbing all over you because they want to hear what the next thing you're about to say. You open up a lot more doors to yourself instead if you're just afraid. Do you think, do you think people like people that are volatile or things that are not steady? How many people would like a friend who's always like, oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. Do you invite them to a party or do you invite them to an, an event? You don't. So that's what the universe is doing. The universe will never invite you to great things because you are afraid. 
You are never put in front of greatness because you are a pussy. And I say that. All right? So you have to choose whether to stay a victim or whether your circumstances will make you stand strong. Because you're, you're a superstar. Everyone is a superstar. What's the difference between you and those that are winning? Guys, I'm here for you, man. It's a Monday. I understand everybody is too lazy and we're slowing down. Do you know what I mean? But I want you. I want you to know that I'm here with you 24-7. I wish so much more for you and I know there's so much more possible for you if you just allow yourself to go for it now. Look at this. I'm coming in from one of the poorest economies. But I haven't let that stop me. Do you know what I mean? Because I want to I wanna love what I'm doing and I want to spread that love so I'm never going to do anything based on fear. And guess what? If you are actually, if you have made it this far on this show and you're really craving some sort of a transformation of your own, I can help you get there. I can help you get there. You can jumpstart your personal transformation. You can start getting your life back. And you can start choosing love over fear. But I want to warn you, transformation just doesn't happen. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of support system. I really, really want you to win. I hear a lot of success stories from the people I inspire, you know what? Because they're doing what they absolutely, absolutely love. Not because they're doing it because they're afraid. I really want you to win. I really want you to choose love over fear. And when you have this powerful strategy, this year you're going to finish it off strong. All you need is the next 30 days to actually realize, have I been doing things because I love them or have I been doing it because it's out of fear? If you really want to have a chat with me, type in the words coffee and I'll send you a link so that we can have a chat. But like I always say, guys, I believe that if you're going to be running a business, it has to be profitable and enjoyable. I believe that if you're going to be doing something, you have to create for the people that are going to be supporting you. You know, I honestly say if you love what you do and do what you love, you will never work a day in your life. Absolutely. All right. Please share this video. Obviously, for me, it's no longer a competition. It's no longer vanity. Somebody really needs to hear this message. Please share this message today. But you know what? I want you to win. All right? Thank you so much for everybody else that's been tuning in. Let's catch up again tomorrow. And I want you to tell me, um, you know, throughout the day, how you feel about, you know, how you feel about this show. I want you to really open up to me and let me know what it is that maybe I can improve on or what it is that you've been fearing that this show really sent off, all right? At the end of the day, I really, really love and adore your, your, you know, your patronage, every single one of you guys. In the meantime, go out there and replace your fear with a lot of love. You've got greatness written inside of you. Go show the world what you're made of. I'm out of here.